morning. We are here today to talk about skincare. It's Amelia, and I bring to you my winter skincare routine. I'm going to talk to you all about what I do morning, nighttime, and my battery's gonna die. Kiss my butt, battery. Kiss my butt. So, let's see how much we can get through. So, for my morning routine, this is how I start. First, I wash my face. I either use Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Daily Clarifying Cleanser, or I use the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. So wash my face, use my hands, usually in the shower, um, just really get it clean. When I get out of the shower, I then apply my serums. First off, if you have acne, I use my Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment with Salicylic Acid Oil Free, and I use that on the spots that I have acne. Next up, I use the Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector for any former acne spots that may have left a dark spot on my face. That stuff's awesome. Next, I apply this little sample I got, the Clinique Repair Wear Laser Focus Wrinkle and UV Damage Corrector. And it is also a serum and I use it under my eyes and along my lash lines. And I just pat it on there. Then, I wait and I let my serums dry on my face. That's key. Make sure you give it time to really sit in there before you go slathering on your moisturizer because otherwise you're just wiping it right back off. And what's the point of spending $65 if you're just gonna wipe it off with your moisturizer? So next, I use my oil-free moisture SPF 35 from Neutrogena. This is my daytime stuff because I don't use SPF at night when I'm not gonna be in the sun. So make sure you moisturize, make sure you get enough moisture in your face because that dryness can help lead to acne breakouts, but also oil. It's very, very tricky. But where, during the winter, when it's a little bit dry, the air is drier, you want to make sure you moisturize just a little bit extra. So that is my morning routine. Now my nighttime routine is similar. So I wash my face and I can either use my Yes to Tomatoes, my Purity, or this Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream. Now, if I'm using one of these two, I also, every other day, at night, I Clarisonic my face. And I only do it at night, and I only do it every other day, because I don't want to strip my face totally and really be harsh on it. I want to do it occasionally. So, that's when I use this. This stuff is amazing. So, note, it will make you break out before it clears you up. So. Don't be alarmed if you're using it in the first week or two and you actually notice a little bit more breaking out, particularly for me in this area. Because it's stripping it away, taking the blemishes that were already about to form, and those blemishes then rise, and then the skin clears up. Okay, Clarisonic. Then your serums, again, with your even better and your acne one spot. Then again, I use this other serum. And I use that under my eyes and I pat it very, very gently and I let it sit and I let it get into my skin. And lastly, I use, right now I'm using this CVS Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Cream, Night Cream, and it's so thick. It is so dense on your face, but because you're sleeping and you're really, it's so moisturizing and you just sleep with it on and you really wake up and your face is so refreshed from it. You you can feel it. Now my first reaction to this is, it has a weird smell. Like it's not good, it's not fragrancy. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know. I actually have no idea what it reminds me of. But once you get past that, then this stuff is actually really, really, really good. So that is my winter routine from Dr. Amelia. I'm not a doctor. None of this is, was recommended to me by a doctor. This is stuff that works for me. I tend to have combination skin, sometimes oily, sometimes dry. So do what's best for your skin. But in my case, this is my winter routine and I finally think it works. It took me a while to get it down. I still have breakouts, but this is what I have been doing and what seems to work for me. So what works for you. I'm totally curious because skincare, I'm not an esthetician. I'm a makeup artist and I believe that the skin is the basis for your makeup though. So you need to take really good care of it or else your makeup will look like crap too. So 
What do you use and what do you recommend? Especially, I'm curious, what do you use when you have an acne flare up or you have like the beginning of acne flare up and you're like, this is gonna be bad? What do you use? What helps you guys? So, because I've been using this stuff and I like it, but what if there's something better? So, let me know what works for you. That is my winter 2012 December skincare video. And have a nice day. Ta-ta.